All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. So we're going to go ahead and take the LR Ginyu Force, the Goat U Force, um, into Red Zone Fusion Zamasu. Now, Fusion Zamasu is definitely a tough fight, uh, but in terms of his kind of like the, the difficulty of the event, he's definitely not on par with the ninth anniversary fights. Um, but the fight is structured differently enough that I do really like still using it as a showcase fight um, because I think it's a good way to kind of display... Um, you know, different strengths of different characters. Now, Raccoon and Gar uh, Goldo is a character that I would consider aged out, of course. Uh, I think we potentially... Let's jump in just like this. We could do Raccoon and Goldo. I think Birder and Jace are another great option. We could also maybe try AJL Ginyu. Even though these characters are just flat out not good anymore, remember, we are going to get supercharged by the LR Ginyu Force. Now, we are going to need really good opening rotations here. Um... Topo and Pride Troopers will not be good if they're not on a rotation with Topo. Same with any other Ginyu Force members. A lot of very good characters, like the LR Gammas, LR Ribrian, uh, I don't want to use in this uh, fight. Um, because it's just, the AoE crushes the Gammas, it crushes LR Ribrian. They're not good in this fight. <laughs> Um, okay, 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 okay. So, whew. Uh, Raccoon and Goldo, yeah, we just lost. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could maybe live with crazy dodges. I don't think my Raccoon and Goldo have a dodge build either. No, they don't. I probably should look into changing that. Uh, I think we're going to die pretty quickly right here. Let's see. We got really bad opening rotations. It happens. I mean, it, it's, it is what it is. No super attack right away is good. Okay. By the way, we saw the symbol because Gamma 1 builds up damage reduction when he gets hit. So we saw that symbol. Um, I, I did see in Battlefield, EGL Carnival Goku got hit and, you know, a symbol popped up because he builds up crit chance. Dodge it. No. Okay, we got the guard. That's good. And then they did, Topo and Pride Troopers did dodge. Okay, that's really good. Uh, one of the big parts, though, where's the super? I mean, to my Topo and Pride Trooper, they're full dodge, of course, 30 plus dodge. We have a, at least a reasonable shot. It's just, the Topo and Pride Trooper, they're a pretty good character, but they are not going to work against um, no Topo on rotation. They need a Universe 11 character on rotation. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, I mean, this didn't really go the worst ever. If we could just not get sniped. No super. Woo! Damn. That boy is swaggy. All right. Um, still tough. This is still a scary turn. Signature pose is just key and attack, which I don't really care about. Fierce battle is just attack. I'm going to leave both Topos on rotation, actually. Um, let's get uh, same type orbs to heal up. We did take a significant amount of damage. Uh, we probably still could get cooked right here because Int Gotenks is going to need to do a lot of dodging. Uh, I should have put the friend Topo on saw one. No, he's still double digit tanked. Go tanks, bro. Come on. Ah, yeah. Even a uh, special pose. I mean, we can beat a lot of these Supreme Battle Spectacle fights very, very casually, right? Uh, with, with it's just full special pose roster pretty easily. But, uh, you know, Fusion Zamasu, I mean, it's still, it, it opens like this. I, I like it. I do think, uh, dude, he's super in the friend. Topo has zero dodge, of course. Yeah, the full crit build, guys. Ha, 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 great. Oh, well, Topo is very good, though. Uh, yeah, we're good. All right. Well, <coughs> never mind. All right. Well, yeah, we're continuing on. Um, like, we can still get cooked in this fight. Uh, I was going to say I think Gotenks is still good here. All right, we did, we did survive. The roses, so good, so good, so good. Uh, using them quite a bit. I mean, this character is definitely not the. 
Oh, shit, dude. What? Oh. This was bullshit. This is a bullshit ass run. We can't run Raccoon and Colt on Salt 1, dude. There's no way. Ah. Uh... Alright. Um, so, the smartest thing for us to do right here is to get the singular int orb on the left or the right. Uh, if we get a int or rainbow key sphere, that pops the special pose two turns support buff, which is the most important thing. If we get an orb besides, uh, or a type orb besides int, we get 50% attack and defense for the LR Ginyu Force, but I, I think the LR Ginyu Force, we might just be strong enough anyway, we'll be good. It's more important um, for us to give the support to the rest of the team. I, the Ginyu Force in slot 7 is really bad for this fight, by the way. Because remember, you know, an Int or Rainbow Orb gives two turns support to Special Pose. The entire team is Special Pose. And then the Intro is giving 25% attack and defense to the whole team for three turns. So it's like, they just, you know, they show up and the whole team gets 50% support, basically, for a couple of turns. Um, so now, like, these characters, you know, Rakum and Goldo, Gamma 1, these characters are going to work significantly better. All right, let's go. Yeah, nice. Good healing, good healing. Um, remember, this is not full power Ginyu Force, but we do actually have some of the Ginyu Force links up. So that's good. Gamma 1 is already fully built up. Cool. No super? Uh, Zamasu's being weird in this run. I think we still could win this. Okay. Uh, oh! Oh! We go, oh, no, okay, okay, I, 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 let's, never mind, don't worry, <laughs> never mind, never mind. Can we get the hidden potential system additional for the first time in, like, 50 years? No, dude, I can never get it. I don't want to lower the dodge on them. Uh, but, I mean, damn, I mean, okay, so no dodge right there. 54k, okay, but still fine. Uh, I mean, damn, do I, do I think it would be good to, like, well, I could change one dodge node to additional, which would drop us to, I believe, 27 dodge in the hidden potential system, and then it would give us uh, 15 additional, right? Because I, right, I, we have 12 additional, so each attack the Ginyu Force does, we have a 12% chance to do their thing. Uh, do we think maybe it would be a good idea to pop the a god topo with no we don't need no what no, no no we don't need to do a god topo at all all right um and then damn dude look at the oh my god oh my god these stats <laughs> the ginyu force they're so bust did they give so the ginyu force gives so much support it's crazy like, the team is just so much stronger. My god, it, it's just... To, I mean, to me, I just love using LR Ginyu Force, LR Bulma. I, I mean, these types of characters, I mean, this is great. It, it just... Like, the, like when people... People love using old shitty characters, right? Like, people want to go, oh, look at AGL Goat you, And he's just, like, dominating in, like, you know, Supreme Battle Spectacle and shit like that. When with characters like Bulma or the LR Ginyu Force, like like stuff like that is you know much more realistic. All right, so we get Super Saiyan Go Tanks right here. <clears throat> um, okay, we'll definitely go the LR Ginyu Force since I won. Them being int is not directly gonna affect us too much. Uh, this is the first run where orbs have been a major deal, huh? Because, like, look at this. Like, I mean, I guess... I mean, I am the unluckiest ever. Uh, this is proven. Proven fact. Uh, I mean, I can get this. That gives us a two-turn support, but... We're not going to be able to get the 50% stats to the Ginyu Force again. There's not... There's nothing I could have done about it, really. I don't... No alternative plays to be made. All right, let's go. Uh, the super attack, if it's before we attack, we're probably going to need to dodge this. We don't dodge it, okay. Yeah, I don't... I don't know that we have enough... Without the extra stats... Yeah, I think we did just barely die right there. I mean, I, I, that's it's decent tanking, but that right there, I think, is a good display of that the Ginyu Force is just not quite good enough 
because that is a boss who hits like uh, two million lower than um, Gogeta, basically. Like Zamasu is like two million under Gogeta. Uh, I might just reset for good rotations at this point. Why is Ginyu in slot seven, dude? Uh, annoying the hell out of me. What, bro? Oh god. Okay. Well, I mean, we could take, we could do it. It's just, I, I, you know, like again, I explained like the Ginyu force shows up, and they just give fifty percent immediately to the whole team. So it's kind of frustrating to get them in slot seven. Like, the other thing too is that the Ginyu force in slot seven. Remember that they have their abysmally bad, horrible, god awful condition of not fifth turn from the start of battle, but fifth turn from the start of turn. Um, I I go on rants about that, and people go, "Oh my god, he's the he's making it up. <laughs> he's ranting about something that's not a big deal." Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is a big deal because so far in this, oh, go tanks, please. Um, in this video, like, you know, in these two runs, it's, like, impossible to have seen the active because they show up in slot 7, which means we can't get their active until turn 7. And that's another huge, significant thing, which will help all these characters tank better as well. Uh, Tobo is going to be fine against us. This is not a problem at all. Uh, all right, all right. I mean, remember, there is... There, we do have limits. We can do... What is it? Six runs in here? Six runs? I figured that this would be good. This would be a really good showcase for the special pose team in particular because of some characters like this unit, like they're literally only good if Topol's on rotation, right? You know, some characters like in Go Tanks is like way better, right? Like like deep in the fight. Like it's like Kefla. It's the same thing with Kefla. Like in Go Tanks and Kefla, they both transform twice. So it takes them quite a while before they're super good. Uh let's just let's just rock Topo on side one. Be safe. Hit that. Um, and then we'll hit this. Alright, we, we got um, orbs for Ginyu next turn, which is good. Uh, Raccoon and Gold do have to guard, though. They did, okay. Uh, not the worst in here, right? Like, the stats we're seeing from Raccoon and Goldo, not the worst ever. It's not gonna cut it in, you know, against Gogeta and Beast and shit like that, but... Like, it, and this level of fight, we can do it. And keep in mind that all these tanking numbers we're seeing from these characters, like, at least right now, still, this is, you know, without Ginyu support. I mean, even just their intro member is 25% unconditional. Well, I don't know if I want to say unconditional, but it's 25% to the whole team. Is this kill us? Dodge it. No. This might be death. Yeah, it is. Okay. All right. How about, like, <laughs> you know, how about, like, good luck this time? And I know people could say, oh, my God, yeah, that's why this fight is so terrible. Because you're, you know, like, oh, my God, we died. Like, it's opening rotation simulator. Uh, this is going to be my third run in 13 minutes. Do you guys know how many minutes it would take to be on my third run against Gogeta? Uh, not 13 minutes. So I, I, I prefer this fight over the Gogeta Supreme Battle Spectacle fight. In terms of like a showcase, it's way, to, it's just way easier to do this video, uh, in here than this uh, Gogeta. All right, uh, sure. Again, I mean, you know, we not once have gotten Rakum and Goldo next to the LR Ginyu for us here, so we are going to need Rakum and Goldo. It, without Ginyu on the turn, it's a fifty percent chance at Rakum and Goldo guard. It's so funny. Like, this fight is going to give this team more trouble than the way... So we lost right here. This fight is going to give this team way more trouble than the significantly harder stages. All right. That's why I think I, I maintain. I like the design of this fight. It's good. And it's still... It's, it's way different than the ninth anniversary fight. So it's still really good for the World Tour. Yeah, we're done. Because my Raccoon and Goldo don't have full dodge. So they're just going to die right here. I mean, maybe if they double super. We do have significant additionals. Could they be okay? I mean, maybe we get one, we get a three dodge and an additional. No, we're good. Okay, bye. See ya. Okay, maybe this time, guys, we could get decent rotations. Do you think? <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe. Let's you know, maybe LR Ginyu Force turn one would be sick. The Ginyu Force who 
are a character who really takes a huge chunk out of how damaging this guy's AoE is. But every single turn, we are not even getting them before Zamasu tears us up. Uh, okay. I mean, it's fun. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, the good news is that we do have the Tobon Pride Troopers right there. Okay, so they're not... Crushed. Oh, God, dude. This... Never mind. This was so annoying. I mean, when you're me, everything is always harder. It's always way harder when you're me. That's crazy. Can you force your slots having every fucking run, dude? All right, this is double digits, though. Beautiful. Not quite. Uh, well, I, of course, I didn't want... All right, they got cut up a little bit. Go tanks did dodge AoE, though. That's more important. Oh, man, dude. Oh, God. I mean, I, I probably should... Before we hop in again, we should just throw full dodge and Raccoon and Goldo. I mean, that probably would be smart to do. He could take... He could get hit. It'd be fine. He just needs to attack first, right? They'll be okay as well. I mean, I, with all their links, they're much stronger. But I don't want to put in Gotenks to Sai 1 and get their links up. Like, you guys... It, it's obvious. I mean, I know someone will complain about... Like, look at the way he did his rotations. But, like, it makes sense when you're not just looking to hate um, indiscriminately. Uh, let's just do this. I do want the physical orbs, but tough. Let's grab that. Let's grab this. Okay, Rakum and Goldo. We now we're okay. We're okay right here. All right, he supers right away. That's all right. We're dodging though. Nope. We're getting uh, not much help with dodge in this run either. Or this video. The dodge luck has not been helping too much. We're gonna three dodge this right here. Nope, and they're not guarding. Holy Christ, dude. Thank you so much. All right, we did live, but... <sighs> Again, the Eller Gammas are like... Would have helped 0%. The Gammas suck when they first show up. Um, not really a problem in 99% of the fights right now, but in here, it's a problem. Uh, Eller Ribran obviously sucks balls as well right away. Terrible. All right. Well... Ella Riverin is just weak against AoEs, really. It's not it's not like it's not like Ella Riverin builds up, she just sucks against AoEs. And again, remember, they have guaranteed guard next to Ginyu, but like we've never gotten that in any of these runs. Alright, um, so now we have Ella Ginyu. <laughs> Finally. Yeah, we've barely even seen them in this video, because we've just had such horrible luck. Alright. Uh, damn, this sucks, man. I, uh, I want to get same type orbs, but it's tough. Let's hit this. I'm not even interested in even trying for, like, the 15 key super or anything like that. I want the support for, like, Gotenks in them. Uh, Gotenks actually might not even need to dodge the AoE. If you guys notice, Gotenks is at, like, 400k right there. Then this is giving stats to Gotenks as well. Plus, we got stats from the support. Plus, stats from the intro. Like, there's three different support buffs on in Gotenks right now, as we speak. Hidden potential system. How little we get that is making me consider... I have... Because my equips are great. Like, I have a... I think I have a five dodge, four additional gold equip. Um, like, I've got some really elite equips on Ginyu. He, go tank dodge it. Cool, cool, cool. We could transform into God Topo here. I probably should. Nah, the thing is, no, I, I don't think I need to. With Topo and Topo and Pride Troopers next to each other, we don't even need to use God Topo. Like, at all in this run. Yeah, this is, he's fine. Let's not do it, because the Topo and Pride Troopers themselves will be stronger with Topo not transforming. We can get a lot of same type orbs here. Look at this. Yeah. Okay, we won. This one, we won. Yeah, we won this one. All right. Um, I mean, it's kind of a kind of a mess of a video, but uh, this the the reason this is the second fight I did in the World Tour, if you guys notice, is because of like I knew that this would give us more trouble than the harder fights. Just the way the special pose characters are designed compared to how the fusions and monster fight is designed. 
this is one that would give us more uh, difficulty. But I, I do say that. But, like, if we had just gotten LR Ginyu turn one, like, we win effortlessly. Because his support is just too much. His support would just... Zamasu doesn't hit hard enough, basically. At all. Once Ginyu shows up, like... like Ginyu just puts a curtain down in front of every other character. In a huge, major way. Alright. Uh, so, we'll do this. Remember, again, next to, like, Raccoon and Goldo... Loyalty right there. Remember, that's uh, damage reduction, right? Like, Ginyu Force is giving a lot of attack. I guess the thing is, is that the only defensive link we have up is loyalty, because this is just 25% attack, 5% crit. Uh, this is, what, 3 key, 7% attack. Fierce Battle, of course, is just attack. Uh, and then this right here, this is key and damage reduction. What, what I really wish we had, this, of course, is uh, Gentleman, 2 key, 10% defense. And then this is Respect, which is just attack. I don't know why this link is not stronger, by the way. All right. Um, sure, we'll hit that. Bam. Hit that. Boom. And then Topo can hit this. I'll stay in base for Topo. Uh, again, because Topo in base is supporting. So, LR Ginyu will look better. All right, we would take way less. Super. 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 No, he's scared. Uh, we would have taken way less uh, than we did last time. Uh, because this time we, we had uh, the, the full uh, orb abilities up. Uh, so we were not able to get um, the, the active skill in this run. But again, we no additional again. Now, now my additional luck with that character is actually just like uncommonly bad. Like every turn with beast i get the hidden potential system and usually it's hidden potential system super my my hypo like additional luck with beast is ridiculous okay we're super in them sure man was there's one attack in slot two and it's a super that's so stupid that is so ridiculous i'm glad i didn't transform topo again topo has support in base wait let me double check Topo's support it is special pose right yeah it's special pose and Tournament participant? No, it's special pose and defender just Actually, I gotta double check Topo's support. Uh, Topo Chan is supporting special pose and defender of justice. Okay. So, special pose, of course, hitting every character that we're running. Um, so, here we will transform. Uh, pop the active. Ah, this is long. Whatever. We'll just do this. Pop the active, and then that's going to be GG for Fusions and Monsters. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, um, just the structure of this fight. Uh, it's much easier for this team to get obliterated uh, compared to some of the Supreme Battle Spectacle fights, right? Like, we, we'll do the Supreme Battle Spectacle Beast fight. I'm sure we'll win in one try. Um, I do suspect that we could have real issues um, in the Cell Max fight, of course, which is, is, is tough. It's definitely always tough. Um, but we'll see how things are going to go. All right, 16 million from Topo. Uh, we will take that. Remember, that is a guaranteed crit, of course. Might not finish. But we get the additional. Yeah, Topo. Yeah, Topo is so good, dude. And, I mean, he's a lot better with Ginyu around, right? Bye. See ya. So, we'll see. I'm sure, that'll be the most trouble we'll have. Uh, in all these. And funny enough, that's the one where we're able to use, like, another Ginyu. Like, we could have ran Birder and Jace as well. Uh, EGL Ginyu. I mean, we could have... Like, like if like if we would have, you know, turn one, LR Ginyu and EGL Ginyu. And then EGL Ginyu gives us two or three supers stacking up right away. Like, it really wouldn't have been too bad. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll catch y'all next time.